welcome back. We're still playing the Outer World, obviously. We, uh, I think we finished talking to, to uh, there he is, Silas. We finished talking to Silas. Uh, now we're going to head over to this collector's domicile, which I'm on, doesn't seem to be inside of the thing, which is great. We're going to go over here, though, because, um, the first time I played, I went over there in the hills, and I got my ass fucking reamed. What the hell? That was weird. Like, when I tell you, like, it was like these weird monkey-looking things that were hur hurling boulders at me. It was not a fun time. Like, I was legit reamed. It was not fun. Um, I thought I heard something. There's an enemy somewhere. Um, unsure where. Got it. Inside voices. Yeah, inside voices. They're somewhere over here. They're probably over here in the corner. Or maybe they're inside. They can't be inside because if they were inside. They. There's three of them. Whatever, none of my business. It's it's beyond me now. Like they didn't pop out. Hey, they must be over there. Hmm. Oh well. I'm not gonna complain, I guess. There's good oh that was a hill. Man, so today has been a day. I uh got a text message from from like ooh, a friend slash coach oh shit which is fine oh fuck come on dude jesus fuck okay Well, what do you want me to do? Like, <laughs> like I realize it's low damage, but I can only do it so much. So anyway, um, I had I have to turn in lesson plans, right? And oh, well, the whole school does, right? But like, you know, it's a thing. Now, last semester, my ass was barely submitting lesson plans because I just think they're stupid like I think they're stupid for me because I make powerpoints like every time and so like when I make a powerpoint like for me that powerpoint is like my my plan you know, you know what I'm saying and so I don't like turning in lesson plans because I'm just like for what like let me, let me just give, like, why can't I just give you, why can't I just give you my fucking, what you call that thing? Why can't I just give you my lesson plan, or like my PowerPoint, which is my lesson plan, label it with all the shit you want it labeled as, and call it a day. Like, why can't I do that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, let me work smarter and not harder, right? To which case, the response is always, well, if you did the lesson plan, just copying it over into, like, the template shouldn't be a problem. And I'm just like, and you looking, just opening up and looking at it also shouldn't be a problem either. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, they want... I just figure if... Like obviously, as teachers, you're supposed to be accommodating to like your like your students, and I'm very accommodating to my students. But I feel like in academia, the it's not the same process. At the same, what's the word I'm looking for? The same courtesy is not given to teachers for things, right? Like, if I can accommodate a student's assignment for their needs right why is it that i can't have the same thing happen for me 
Like, I don't, I don't understand what the big deal is or the issue, but it's a problem. So anyway, this year, this new school year started, I turned in, like, my slides because I was allowed to do that for a hot minute. The other day, Corp relocated me. Oh, I remember this. And I had my meeting with, like, my coach and she's like you know we need to switch back to the lesson plans you know we did the slide thing as like it wasn't supposed to be like an all the time thing just like for now I'm just like Wha what's the problem like there's there's literally no problem like just let me fucking turn in my slides like it's literally the same shit literally the same fucking shit and so I was like okay and so I'm like okay so to acquiesce with her request you know, I started turning in my lesson plans and the template because that is indeed what she asked for, right? Since then, I've literally every Sunday, I go to a, um, what would you call that shit? Uh, I, do go, I go to a coffee shop. Every, I go to a coffee shop every Sunday now to do my lesson plans. Because lesson plans are literally the bane of my existence. Like, literally the bane of my existence. Like, I hate them so much. Like, it's it's a problem. But I've literally been going every Sunday to do my lesson plans. Because I know I struggle with getting them done. And, like, when I, I just don't want to... Also, I don't want to be in my house doing work anymore. Because being in my house hasn't been an enjoyable... But I heard something hasn't been an enjoyable experience for me because I've just been so just I associate my house now with work and stress and it's just that's just not healthy you know what I'm saying so anyway back to the story at hand so obviously armor management when armor how I am navigates I'm gonna select it manage your armor here break it down inspect them compare them tag them as junk or drop them cool and so um fuck oh so today i get a text message from i guess my another coach she's not like my coach coach but she's another coach i got an email from her or a text message from her saying uh you know we need to talk about getting your lesson plans in order and i'm just like but what what are you talking about get my lesson plans in order like what <laughs> like i've been sending them in so like what do you mean, get them in order? Because, like, I've been doing them, bitches. Diligently. And I hate doing them, so, like, I'm, I've am i been doing them, so what's the problem? Type deal, you know what I'm saying? So, she's like, oh, well, your coach told me that they didn't get the ones for this week. I'm just like, Ugh. Now, mind you, I know I did them, bitches. I look into my email. They were still, like, in the drafts. I'm like, okay, cool, great. I'm like, they're in my draft. I'll send them over. Like, no big deal. I send the drafts over. And, um, I'm just like, yeah, like, I send them over and that's it. Or I share them with her and she's like, thanks, blah, blah, blah. But, like, I'm annoyed about the whole situation because like first of all I did it like I, I did the plan you know like yeah okay it was late because it was still in my like my draft box for my email but I fucking did them bitches so don't come for me about you're like this, like these lesson plans and how I need to get them in order and if I need any help. Like I've, I've literally been doing them. I've been doing them every week because we've gotten back to school, and that's more than I can say for the rest of the school year, because last semester, like it's like I was doing them, but like I wasn't, because obviously I have to have a plan to teach. So it's like I was doing them, I was doing them hoes, because like obviously I was teaching something, but I wasn't doing them. You know what I'm saying? So it's just frustrating, because I'm just like, dude, like leave me the, f leave me the, f leave me the fuck, <laughs> like literally leave me the fuck alone. Like I'm doing my shit, okay? I'm 
I'm literally doing it. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I'm like, oh, and then coming at me when literally last week another one of the English teachers was telling me how they didn't turn in their lesson plans and got an email saying, you know, be sure you're turning in your lesson plans. Like, worry about them. Like, they not doing they shit, so get on they ass. Like, don't be coming for me when I've been trying my best to do my stuff. Now, if you want to complain about, like, what I've been teaching or what's been happening in class, then okay, sure, do that. But don't come for me when I'm doing my shit. I should have gotten an apology, if we're being honest, but, you know. I guess Black History Month. Like, I'm, I need people to relax. They, they already irking me. And we not even, it's, by the time y'all see this, it's not going to be this date, but it's February 4th, like, where's, where is, Fe it's, it's Black History Month, like, stay two steps fucking back and leave me alone. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Maybe. I've got your book. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I, wait, what the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. Same. It's a law forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha. I was so high and mighty preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. You didn't want that book to keep others from reading it. You just wanted it for yourself. You were reacting a bit, don't you think? What's so important about this book? Yeah, what's so important? I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Damn. That's tough. At least you have your mission work here to give your life meaningful purpose. Why do you think the book held the secrets you're looking for? This has to be some kind of cause of retribution. Plague-ridden black backwater. What happened to all your crap about leading your flock? Period. Please, those dolts. Dolts, damn. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next aether wave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Sure, could be a beneficial arrangement. You ride town. I wouldn't mind a ship hand. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can Great. offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. Beautiful. Join the team. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Same. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Why, the f why do you know how to hack ha hacking computers? Understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. Sure. Sounds good. Let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Bedwater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery. To leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. So is he with me now, or I have to go? I have to go fucking equip him. That's ridiculous. Okay, dialogue. There. What are we doing? Tech. Some inspiration. Some leadership. And we'll do the last three. What is? I don't really avoid damage much anyway. I guess it might be beneficial later to do toughness. What else do I want? Oh, armor rating goes up. We like that. Oh wait. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, I fucked that up. Um, revert all. Oh, but those gonna revert all of them. I want to unlock the ability to fast travel while unencumbered. Or encumbered. 
Because, you know. So is he with me now? No, he's not with me. So I literally have to go equip him. That's ridiculous. Okay, I guess. But yeah, I need people to calm the fuck down. Is it... Is this it? Or is it unreliable here? Hmm. I mean, we're gonna go here and go from there. But yeah, if they want to complain about what we're doing in class right now, that's fine. But... Even still, like, I'm, I, 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 I don't care. Well, I care, but, well, I care about what I'm doing. What I don't care about is their opinion. Because it's not going to change anything. Because right now, we're reading through an entire book. Whether, they, whether the adults agree with it or not. Because I'm getting sick and tired of people telling me that they shouldn't, like, they shouldn't, the kids shouldn't be reading books. Like, oh, so he doesn't come with me? I can't equip him? Why, why the fuck not? Where is this man's? Is it because the ship's not open yet? That's bogus. That's really bogus. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. And that's fine. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Cute. Damn, I really can only have Parvardi? I guess. Anyway, like I was saying, we're literally reading through an entire book whole. They have questions throughout, you know, to, to appease people. But in a perfect world, I just want... I would just want to give them a calendar of, of, like, a calendar. And on the calendar, the calendar tells them, like, they need to have the book read by this date, right? Once they do that thing, like, that's literally all it needs to be. Like, we have discussion about the thing, um, and it's, like, student-led discussion they run the show it's super cute but that way they're able to make their own connections with the book and their own opinions and like annotate it and do all this good stuff but like i swear like people nowadays or i don't know i feel like people only want the kids to read like excerpts of a passage and that's just not good enough like, what's an excerpt going to do? I mean, I can understand for, like, a deep dive, sure. But outside of that, psh, got me fucked up. Hold on. Just, it's ridiculous. Like, I don't know who decided that close reading is... Like, I understand close reading, but only close reading. Like, why would I go out of my way to pick out all of the important passages and make the kids, like, and make the kids think something that I've made them think because I gave them the thought? You know what I'm saying? Like, they, that's not how you learn to critically think for yourself. I feel as if they should read through an entire thing and discuss on their own what they think is going on within the pages of the book. Like, that's literally how school operated for me when I was in school. Like, we read in class, we had discussions, the teacher wasn't force-feeding us what they wanted us to, like, talk about. Like, if we read The Great Gatsby, yeah, we all know The Great Gatsby is about the American dream, but what the teacher is not going to do is going to be like, okay, kids, so The Great Gatsby is a story about the American dream, and here are all the important themes. Like, nah, like, mm -mm. that's not at all how it happened. Instead, you, we would read, we would stop periodically, talk about what's going on, like, what thoughts, ideas, like, comes to mind when you're reading it, like, what kind of themes are present, and we would come up with the themes in class. And it was a whole, it was like a whole, like, ordeal. But at the end of the day, we ultimately read 
we ultimately read every fucking page of the fucking book. Period. Like, that was what we did. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, I fucked that up. Ooh, incinerated. I just want I just want that for my kids, honestly. That's it. I want them to be able I want them to have read a whole book for once in their lives and be able to say that. I mean I'm sure they've read books before, but like I want them to have had discussions about it and and it just bothers me that no one seems to understand that same ideology of like reading a book for what it is and having discussions about it and like chats and stuff like I don't know it's it's weird to me but it's just infuriating for me because I want to create these experiences within the classroom and have them be authentic and all of these things and then they want me to fucking do these stupid ass lesson plans and put my ideas into a box and the box has to be pretty and if it's not in a box it's a problem I'm just like uh, that's just not cute like I don't have time for that I don't want to do that that's not fun like in a perfect world we should just be able to like nice. like in a perfect world I feel as if they would come into the classroom, they would grab their books, they would just start reading, and we'd have discussion periodically while we're reading aloud as a class. Like, that's literally how I want it to be. Or, you know, we, let's say we already have a book finished, and, like, there's another book that they need to be reading. Like, they come in, they get their second book they read on their own for 30 minutes and they have a calendar of when the reading needs to be done by and in the meantime we do activities with the previous book that we read and it's all sunshine and roses and everyone learns and there's discussion and I'm mainly just facilitating and it's great but it just don't be happening like that <laughs> because you know they won't let me be great. And I just want to be great. And the worst part is that I can be great. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Ah. Nigga. Okay. Y'all are some fuckers. I, I love when they go on fire. I know. They're just dying. This weapon is this weapon is it. Oh, a saber? I'll take the saber. But like we uh, it's just not an enjoyable experience when they literally pigeonhole you into into a thing. Like let not everything needs to not everything needs to have a fucking lesson plan, like like, I don't need to literally plan out every single little itsy-bitsy spider part of my fucking day. Like, I have better shit I could be doing. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I just want people to let me be great. That's it, that's all, that's all, that's it. That simple. Just let me be great. But instead, people just want to give me extra shit to do for no reason. This guy is about to be real bad. Come on, kid. Ooh. Last time I did this mission, I didn't... Ooh, Parvati. 
Yeah, on this level. Can you not open doors? I hmm, guess it doesn't particularly matter. Ah, <sighs> people, man. Oh, I'm running out of ammo on this awesome, beautiful gun that I love so much. What is this? That's the door I came in? I think it is the door I came in on. Wait. I can hack it. What does this do? Oh, I think that just opens up this door. Yeah, we're not gonna... We're just gonna open it. Oh, it is barred. Uh, I'll, I'll open it if need be, but I really don't want to. If I can do it outside of the thing. Okay, I'm running out. Running out. Y'all got something? I also love how the game, this game tells you, like, where the people are. Like, I don't have to guess. Like, I don't have to worry about anything jumping out of the corner at me, like, ratchets. Like, I know. I know when they're coming. And I appreciate that. Where are they at? They're like over there somewhere. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, well, since they're over there, I think. Oh, oh, she's not blocked. Okay, I have the unlock room key. Ooh, more heavy armor. Got some mag picks. What is this door to? Oh, okay. I guess. And what's this door to? Oh, the hallway, which is more guys are. Okay. What the hell? Jesus, fuck. Yeah, barely. I don't know how I fucked that up. I like he was it's like I was aiming at nothing. Ridiculous. Okay, back to the matter at hand. We're gonna go in that door. Wait. Oh, I just oh I see. I see what I did. I didn't actually go inside the thing. <laughs> There's a vending machine right behind me. Don't quite need it yet, which is cool. Usually I need it. Nothing's in the bin. I hate when I hate when they do shit like that. Like why why have an empty bin? For what? If it's empty, why even why even take waste the time of putting it there? Just extra this just requires extra coding. Like why would you wanna do that? It doesn't seem like it has any purpose. Ambidextrin? What does that do? Why does it make me ambidextrous? I'm just grabbing all this random shit. Retrieve the cache of medicine. Last time I gave it to Esther Blaine, I think I'm going to give it to Abernathy. Because I can. And I will. Because why not? I mean, he needs it, right? The Fraser Brothers of the Hammersmith Thunder. First back, second back. We got Karen Fraser and Cameron Fraser. I think it's Karen or Kyron. C Siren? Or it could be Siren. Hmm. Who knows? Okay. Let's give this man his medicine. Honestly, I'm not going to do that quite yet. Or maybe I will. Let's look at my journal. That I robot deal with the mechanical scout. Lower who these by the forward scout of the mechanical armor with the landing pad. Oh, okay. I'm going to deliver the message. I'm gonna get this out the way since I'm close. So then um, I can fast travel back and forth and, you know, not... Are you unencumbered? No? So why the fuck are you walking like that? I'm running out of ammo, though. I should've... 
I just had a vending machine too. There's probably another one though. So I'm not too particularly worried about it. These people are dead. Which is scary. Because how they die. The world may never know. But we're gonna... What the... Oh, okay. What we got in here? Anything? Some mag picks. <clears throat> you can never have too many mag picks. I've decided, like, you can't have too many. They're helpful. Damn. Who told you to reload? That's it. This is like a, it's like a little studio. I dig it. Speaking of which, what I want to do actually is um, my health Atticus Adreno injectable healing enhancer. Has my most health over time. Base health, natural health regeneration. I need something that has like multiple. What is this? All attributes minus one. Only 15 seconds. I mean, whatever. Mm -hmm. We'll do the Saltuna. Because why not? I think I need to get my medical up to 40, for being honest. What happens if I sleep? Resting in a bed is relaxing and moves time forward. You can only rest in your bed on your ship. Okay, so it just... That's all it does? So nothing, like no buffs or anything? That's useless. If there's no buffs, then... If there's no buffs, then what's the purpose? Huh. It's in here. See, like, I don't have to worry about shit coming for me. It's just already here. Um... Got a potty with, what is this? S a salve, papers. Man, can you imagine if, like, you hear your homies getting eaten or killed or whatever and you just walk outside to your death? At that point, I would just be like, you know what? I'm going to stay inside. Like, it's whatever. Like, dang, you ain't got to get me too. One of us got to live. Period. Like,. <laughs> Yep, we're almost there. We're gonna go up this one. I think the lady in charge is not the lady in charge. The lady in her name's like Grace or I think. I open it. Hope it's something worth worth it. Oh, true poem, weapon parts and twenty bits. That wasn't worth twenty bits, but you know it's fine. A small bunch of armors, weapons, and armor you may find are considered pristine, more durability. A diamond near it. Grace, I'll shoot you right in your face. Don't don't try me. I don't know you. Same. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. What's your problem? <laughs> Answers, kidding. huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Cool. Mm. A geo what? Look, plants eat my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Is it your camp? Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. Are you Enough though? with the questions. Ooh. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Well, excuse me. We've all got our problems. Got out of space. You and me both. I'm trying to figure out how to repair my ship. Tro with marauders. Explains why you're still yammering on it. Oh. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. So what can she can't do? Imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. She could. Appreciate it. Honest. She sounds like Phil. Over in the hothouse. Tending crop. 
cool. Yeah, she sounds like Phil from, like, uh, Rugrats, which I think is hilarious. Because, you know, Rugrats. Okay, Adelaide. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're barren illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Um, and who are you now? I'm gonna say you must be Adelaide. No, who are you now? Suppose that weighs on who's asking. My flock likes to call me grandmother. Flock. Out of my providing hot soup and free advice. You can call me Adelaide, though. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Yep. Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? Let's see. We got to make some kind of town. He's gonna make amends. Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Mm. Hmm. You're doing this for Reed? Why? Why not? We can't put a power regulator and repair my shit. It seemed like the right thing to do. My reasons are on my own. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Or I take all of your power. What have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. Ooh, don't bring her daddy into this. Gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Mm. That's tough. Major point clear enough. I don't much like throwing that on her face to get... I don't much like you throwing that on her face to get me on your side. What do you have against people trying to make a living? Let's say I help you with Adam's Edgewater. Like, I don't like you throwing it on her face. I'm all right. I ain't so fragile. But that's still rude. That was unkind of me. I'm sorry, dear. Right. Bitch, apologize. What do you have of people trying to make a living? Let's say I help you with Adam's Edgewater. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. Mm. Hmm. You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. Mm. Hmm. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Mm. Do I have a conscience? The real question is, um, lady, you got some, um, weapons in here? Like any, um, guns or... She can't see me? Was that not... Oh, this uses energy weapons. Oh, can she see me here? Nope. Say she can't see me. You can't see me. Um, I'm just trying to find as many which majiggies as I can because what is this? 
Oh, I'll need the salt tuna. A coolant tank. Sure. At this point, we're just stealing shit. Because <laughs> I can. You know? So you just steal shit because you can. Oh. Okay, while we're here, I might as well do search her house for clues. It's right across the street, fortunately. There's one here. Well, today is the day, Zoe. Today is the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder Threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by a lot of barrel fires. Probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules. I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I'm tucking away some Adelaide's food, and I've got some spare cans of salt tuna. She'll last me a couple weeks if I ration. Get some Adrena time, too. Everybody loves Adrena time. Even Marauders, right? I got odds these mar those Marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple of turns of Adrena time before their eyes. This is going to be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm going to have a whole gang of Marauders at my beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizzos. This, this, this bitch wild. So that's it then. No more Edgewater for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams, and would you like another? I don't know why I'm writing this down for pos posterity's sake because I've always hated the cannery and I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal many years hence and tell myself, oh wow, I did hate the veil once, didn't I? That's because I got sick. Everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much during a time. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriate one box of during a time and suddenly you're committing larceny? <laughs> Dang, this bitch kind of crazy. What's this? Pink. Is that blood? Good news, I'm alive. Starting to feel a bit better, too. There's a group of deserters living out in the old botanical lab. They found a way to grow some food, or something that passes for food anyway. L.A. boiled a pot of something green and leafy and told me to drink it twice a day for my symptoms, I suppose. Tastes atrocious, but I've been feeling better. It's nice to be away from the cannery. The labs have just enough power to run an ether wave, so I've been catching up on my serial dramas. Mass marketeer. What would I do without you? Go crazy, most likely. Crack up, murder all my neighbors, and run screaming into the hills like some wild marauder. Okay. I don't know. That doesn't sound too bad. I can see myself leading a cadre of marauders, a band of bandits. Wait, that doesn't sound right. A band of bandits? What we call ourselves a form formidable 14. The 100 hooligans featuring Zoe, bandit queen. This bitch out here thinking she a whole bandit queen. Well, anyway, in the next part, we're gonna... Maybe go find Zoe and do other things. I, well, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And ooh, in the meantime, um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share with all your friends. I appreciate you. Make good choices. Um, but you know the drill. I'm out this bitch. <laughs>